Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. I love being here at Flappers. I love it. You having fun? Yeah. Me too. Let's begin. <laughs> My first poem. Have you heard poetry this evening? No. No, you haven't. My first poem is entitled Time Warner Cable Repairman, 6 p.m. By Howard Aronin. I called to see if he was running on time. He wasn't. <laughs> My next poem is entitled People who I went to high school with are here to see me tonight many of which are highly successful people and are surely judging me so I want to build myself up so I can impress them by Howard Aronin <laughs> Nine thirty p.m. Saturday, flappers. Just so you understand, five to seven minutes with a meet and greet later, I'll pull in about thirty-eight grand. Because I sell a lot of merch. There's not a lot of money to be made in poetry. So for the last uh, thirty-one years, I have been supporting myself. How? 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 It running? I've worked in the airline industry as a straight male flight attendant. That's right, 31 years I've done it. Do you know we had a smoking section 30 years ago? Smoking sections on the airplane. Do you know who had to work there? The junior flight attendant. Young, brash, America's sweetheart, Howard Ronan, in the smoking section 30 years ago. I remember the lady that trained me. She said, Howard. This is important, Howard. Remember this rule. When the ashtrays are full, Howard, you gotta empty them. Thirty-one years ago, I told my parents I was going to become a flight attendant. They didn't take it too well. I said, Mom, Dad, I'm going to be a flight attendant. My dad said, Flight attendant? What are you, some kind of a pickle sniffer? Do you sniff the pickle, boy? No, Papa. You know, as Jewish parents go, the number one least desired occupation for their child, can you guess what it is? Anybody? It's Nazi! Nazi, number one. <laughs> Flight attendant is number three. Radio count four. Number two. Pickle sniffer. <laughs> I have two children. Two children, you're welcome. They're out in the world now. They're in their uh, 20s now, my two children. There's, um, there's Brie, and uh, there's not Brie. <laughs> because Brie is my favorite. <laughs> uh, Brie is in the United States Naval Academy. About to graduate. What? Not Brie is at um, UC San Diego. Bonging. 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 <laughs> so Bree's my favorite. You know, I was always a little embarrassed about my occupation flight attendant. I waited till my children were in their late teens before I actually told them what I really did for a living. I sat them down. I said, Bree, not Bree. I am not Captain Howard Aronin, 747 pilot. No. I'm Howie, straight male flight attendant. And not Bree said, you're straight? People say, Howard, Howard Ronan, you have two beautiful children. You must have a lot of poetry about your children. I do not. They never moved me. In any way. 
That's over, not one time. But I do have a poem about my dog. My dog, Bo, he's a golden retriever. I love him. He's my sunshine man. My girlfriend, Marcy, said, I love you, Howard. And I said, I love you, Bo. Both. Both. <laughs> and uh, uh, I wrote a poem about my, my golden retriever, Bo. Uh, it's actually, uh, he wrote this to me. It's called Master O' Master. By, Howard, by Bo Ronan. Sometimes I was sitting around licking my balls and penis. <laughs> And I think, what a miracle. God got us together. God must be a, a genius. Uh, master, you're so special. Uh, when the bitches aren't around, and when you shake that box of treats, know I'll always be your hound. Oh.